This Planet for the week ending April 18th, 2018. This week we're all about oceans. Last time we explored the threat of plastics to the ocean. Now a mutant plastic eating enzyme may save the day. British scientists have inadvertently created an enzyme that could gobble up one type of plastic that threatens sea life and the humans who eat it. Researchers were studying bacteria that had naturally evolved to create an enzyme that can actually eat plastic. When they zapped it with ultra-intense x-rays, they accidentally improved the enzyme's ability to break down the plastic used to make soft drink bottles. More than one million of those bottles are sold worldwide each minute. Something scary in the seas. The massive Atlantic Ocean circulation system appears to be slowing down due to climate change. The current has kept northern Europe temperate for millennia and given American East Coast lobsters the cold water they need to thrive. But a new study shows that the current has declined in strength by 15% since the mid-20th century. Melting glaciers and ice sheets are creating pockets of cold water and areas of less salty seawater, weakening the current. Finally, some good news from the seas down under. Scientists have developed a sun shield they hope can save Australia's Great Barrier Reef. Surface films are sometimes used on dams to prevent evaporation. This one, ultra-thin and biodegradable, will float on a surface above the reef. It will help stop the coral bleaching that has ravaged two-thirds of this unique Australian wonderland. When the project is combined with other efforts, like identifying the reefs least vulnerable to climate change and using them to reseed endangered ones, this fragile ecosystem could have a fighting chance. For This Planet, I'm Steve Newman.